Hello kind friends. So today is the last video of 2022 and the last video about my all completed pages uh, during a period of time of six years since I started coloring. And today I will show you my printed coloring pages and also will tell you some results, some numbers. <laughs> about all my books, all completed pages. And let me start. Uh, at first there are a few my very first completed uh, pages when I only started coloring and I didn't have a lot of books at the time and so I um, printed a few illustrations, more simple ones like this peacock and this one I colored with oil pastels. And uh, yeah, and forgot to say I have 91 pages colored, like a thick coloring book. Uh, another more simple doodly type of illustration. Um, no shading here, just pure colors and a little bit of sparkle here and there. Um, uh, this one actually I have a coloring book and this illustration is from that book but at the time I didn't have that book and I wanted to color it so much that I found uh, an illustration, uh, I believe a free uh, sample and I colored it. and. When I got the book, I don't color in it. It's still untouched. Formally, I have one completed page, this one, because uh, there is this illustration in that book, so I consider it formally started. <laughs> uh, but I actually colored it when I didn't have the book. It's uh, Zen Doodle, the book's name. Uh, this one, it was some kind of coloring magazine, but I, I don't remember its name and uh, I printed uh, two illustrations from it. Uh, this faro, colored with metallic acrylic. There was a lot of doodles on him, but I covered all that. And another one is this Native American man. You still can see some doodles on his face, but now it looks like tattoos on his face. Others I tried to cover. Uh, this one from actually from book Fantasia by Nick uh, Nicholas Chandravinata. I've got um, not that good edition, a small one with Amazon paper. And I didn't like paper so much that I gifted that book and only left this one complete page from that book. Actually, the person that I gave the book uh, to, she's coloring in it with inks, actually. And this one was colored with pencils. One of my first portraits, a bit stylized doodly star. Unfortunately, don't remember the artist and I didn't write her name here, so... Uh, this one by Nadia Vasilkova. I love pearls here and hair. Not so bad for first serious portrait, I call it. Next couple of illustrations are by uh, Jeff Haney, Haney, I believe, uh, Whimsical Cats. Here I did background with Durant Ink Tents and I think that was my first black fur animal, this cat. Another one. Uh, this one I'm not that happy about. Don't remember what colors, uh, pencils I used, but I know the paper is not good. And so 
I've got such pale result. Another one by Jeff Haney. This Egyptian cat. Very detailed. And I love all the details and these mice <laughs> solving the cat. And the last one by Jeff Haney is this disco cat. I colored this one in summer. This summer. I mean last summer. <laughs> uh, this one turned out bright. Then I have three completed pages from Serenaya coloring book by Kristen McAllister. I really love this book. Um, illustrations in the book uh, and at first I wanted to finish it but you know how it happens. You get new coloring books and you get more interested in those and forget about coloring your old favorites. Another one. Everything with pencils on this one. And this one. Here I used uh, pencils and markers as well and love background here again with markers. Uh, this one by Linka Filoninka from her Zodiac coloring book. This is Scorpio. Another by Linka Filoninka from another book which I don't remember the name of this book. Mm. And the last Balenka uh, from her tarot cards mm, book. This one, The Hanged Man Woman. And this one from Colorless Kingdom by Chris Ortega. I love illustrations by this artist, love this book. And again, I thought about finishing this book one day but as you can see only one illustration completed i don't know why i, I love illustrations they are so beautiful so realistic so romantic i need to put this book in my list of books to be uh, colored in 2023 a few illustrations by Wishan Ong. You have seen uh, maybe six, uh, seven illustrations by her from Coloring Heaven magazine. And these are from PDF, a version of her books. Uh, this one, Bl Blossoming Maiden. Once again, I color her pictures with markers and pencils. Sometimes gel pens. Uh, this one, the little owl. I can see an owl here. I, I've seen uh, someone's tag on YouTube on um, how many owls, something like this. And I thought I could remember only one owl. And so I thought, nah. <laughs> but then when I started looking through my completed pages, I have found a few more which I didn't remember, like this one. And the third by Wishan Ong. Love all the colors here. A lot of colors, but looks everything nice, I think. I do love it. <laughs> and this one by Anastasia Kuldreva. Her uh, first version of uh, Mermaid's Legend. I have it in PDF. So this one from that book. Later she changed some of illustrations, but this is the first edition. Uh, more simple style, I would say. Later she uh, drew it in more realistic way. But I like this one as well. And the third one. I have this one in new uh, style, <laughs> but I colored this one. And this one from um, Dragon Tales, again I have it in PDF 
version. Now different artists. So this one, Ariana Brashkina. Again, a lot of different bright colors, uh, but I love the effect and the final result. She reminds a little bit of Angelina Jolie. This owl, the only one that I could remember <laughs> that I colored. Maybe because this one is more realistic and I remember um, I colored it um, looking at the reference picture, so maybe that's why I remember this owl. And more simple ones, I don't. This is Christina Novak. Everything in pencil, in background as well. Uh, Brazilian, Brazilian Carnival uh, by Erica Jane. A lot of feathers here. I love uh, all these uh, rain, rainstones, how her cap turned out and her makeup. Uh, this part, <laughs> something wrong without it, with it, but okay, I left it like this. Munya Gates. Signorina Chianti, I call her. Added some writing on this bottle because it was a blank. Another by Monia Gates and the rest of the Phoenix. Love fire here. And another one by Monia Gates, um, Cancerian Goddess. Love this picture and love how I colored it. All these colors looks beautiful together. And the last by Monia Gates, uh, Medusa. This one I colored in summer. Uh, this one by Claudia Mar Marlanda. I call her Autumn Girl. Jade Summer Vampires. And Don Davidson. Love this Maasai Girl. Her jewelry piece. And animals, of course. Shana Prosvirina. Love uh, the moment here. Her hair. This one by Katrin Schatz. I love the idea. She's looking in the mirror. It's not like painting. It's mirror. She's looking there and the mirror reflects the real her. Her inner soul. So she, she's like wild <laughs> girl who would, like, who would like to live with tigers in jungles. Uh, this one by Lika Landel. And I have only one completed pages from her. Uh, though they are so cute, I love them, but only one I completed. Uh, Verba Reels. Damita Victoria. Some sparkle on her eyeshadows. Genovi Art. Now she changed her Etsy shop name. Cutie Dolls Art, I believe it is now. It was the year of Cal, so I colored it at the time. Everything with pencils. Ligustaiva Art. Love how the fur turned out. I mean, the artificial fur. My 
Ariola Budek, a Little Mermaid, love this one, love the colors, how they look together and everything turned out so bright, one of my favorites. Another by Mariola Budek, more realistic one, girl with a horse. Christine Karen, a lady with cat. And a Jewish of Summer, this blondie with ice cream, love her hair and ice cream as well. Uh, Andy Davis, Indian girl with a tiger, love how the tiger turned out, very realistic. This one by Cry Universe, didn't like this paper, didn't, um, pencils didn't work nice on this one. Laura Rafferty. Uh, this is my version of Daenerys, Dreaming of uh, Red Keep. Uh, Rina by Rina. This is Shaman Girl, I call her. This is how the crowd turned out. Another by Rina. Christmassy. Last year I colored this one. This is by Mardel Rubio Mascara. Here I used Durant Ink Tense and I love the result. Mixed media paper and it looks so bright and kind of like painting effect. And another one from mascara. Here I added a little bit of uh, metallic gel pen, but the rest with Durant Ink Tense. Another one uh, by Mardel Rubia from Hivaga, Mud of Dragons, I call her again. The next couple of illustrations by Shella Do on simple office paper and here I used markers and color pencils. They are funny illustrations, some weird looking but it's so much fun to color them. Spaghetti Lazy. Grey and colored sides of life, I call this one. I love uh, peace, love. And this fairy, uh, party fairy. Uh, this one from Coty coloring book. This one um, by Marina Khorbacheva. This is the only picture that I tried to color on colored paper. I didn't have any other color at the time. <laughs> it was a prompt by Sami, so I decided to try on blue paper. It was fun and it looks interesting, but uh, not again, because um, colors look different to what you expect of them. Uh, by Leslie Mel, Marie Antoinette. Here I used um, water soluble gel crayons for background. I can see some sparkle, which is not seen that much. Uh, Debra Muller. One of her fairy portraits. 
a lot of butterflies, some sparkle on her, yeah, you can see this, on her wings. Another by Deborah Muller, this uh, ship. Uh, very funny, cute. Katya Suresh. A lot of colors in one picture, but I love it. Uh, Ellie Marks. Girl with a doll. Again, I feel... Um, not quite happy with uh, white background. Sometimes I think to add color to it. Uh, this and another picture I showed you by Sarah Richter with bed. Same story. Um, coloring Malu, Halloweenish illustration. Love it. <laughs> love this style and love that it turned out so bright, some sparkle here. Such pictures are for fun. Any coloring doll. Love her eyes and all the brightness, all the colors here. Very contrasty. Uh, this one by Karina Aguilar. Doodly style style of picture. Sometimes I feel like coloring something like this. A lot of details. It's called my inner music. And a, another one by her. And this one is called the girl that I was. Ox zodiac. Uh, sign by Jesh Lee. I have tiger and uh, rabbit as well and I plan to color those um, but haven't yet. Uh, this one by Arcadia Jones, uh, Goodbye 2020. Um, Dark Fantasy Selena Fennec. Love her illustrations, but um, I don't know. It's often like I look at uh, those pictures and don't color. Decide to color something else. That's the only one that I completed. Uh, Winsome Malur, Sherry Lafont. Jade Summer, uh, Norse mythology, colored with uh, pastel pencils, so it's a bit dirty. Do I use the fixative, but still. Um, Julia Spiri, this princess, again I used gel crayons. And another one by Julia Spiri, this pirate girl. Uh, Mark Coyle, Animal Portraits. I have uh, this uh, bear. Christmassy. And another one uh, with this dragon. Mrs. Spaghetti Art, Mad Hatter, Chintaka uh, Hirath, Sweet Couple in Edem, Adam and Eve, uh, Mindy Manzana, Jasmine and Aladdin. Uh, Dana Deville, uh, 
love this part uh, looking mysterious all those uh, trees uh, Daria Chakursui color and chic this one I colored in summer for hedgehog prompt and another by Daria no Daria, Daria yeah Daria Marie Antoinette love the hair and her eyes she looks like doll like very pretty uh, Matt Davidson a very romantic picture love the waterfall and all the atmosphere looks nice another by Matt Pirate Girl love all the details here look at this fabric and the last by Matt Davidson Beauty and the Beast and the last picture by Sarah Richter again Beauty and the Beast I colored it very recently that was all 91 PDF completed pages and now let me um, say you some numbers about my collection and about my results so I count all my coloring books even those that I don't color anymore they were hidden somewhere far away but I took them out and count uh, completed pages count those books and in December I bought uh, one new coloring book um, I will show you in one of videos soon so I count that book too and on the whole I've got 165 coloring books in my collection that's quite a number I thought maybe I had 150 around that number but turn out that more 165 all completed pages in books I count those and I was really impressed with the number I I thought it would be less 652 completed pages in all those books and if you um, if we plus 91 of PDF pages that on the whole I have 743 completed pages that's quite a number like around 10 rather thick coloring books um, out of those books untouched I have 18 including the new one it's only 11% of all my books so I think it's not that bad just 18 uh, not start <coughs> not started books and I also counted uh, books that um, where I have only one complete page I think it's not enough so my goal is to color at least two pages in every book that I have and such book with only one page I have 35 again not that many <clears throat> and considering that I don't buy, don't buy that many new coloring books every year so I think I can reach my goal uh, to color to start all coloring books and finally to complete at least two pages in every book and so on the whole colored with more than one page I have uh, 112 books it's 68 percent so I think quite nice results I think I'm pleased a lot of completed pages not that many untouched coloring books and <coughs> I think I will improve my results 
the following year in 2023 and so that was last video of 2022 if you are watching this before new year happy new year uh, wishing you all the best um, to color more in the coming year uh, enjoy your creativity and um, I think that's all in next video I am planning to show you my untouched coloring books and um, maybe some of my plans for the uh, coming year uh, so that was all for today see you next time bye